implementing standard ACLs. Now in this section we'll see the basic implementation of the standard ACLs and then also we'll try to understand how it is configured and then also we'll see how it is going to work probably in the two, uh, two different sections here. Now uh, for implementation of the lab I'm going to use the same topology which we have discussed in our basic routing concepts where I'm going to connect some 192.168.1.network, network, 2 dot network and 3 dot network. Now the basic prerequisite for this lab you need to have some routing configured any routing we can say it can be RIP, EHRP or OSPF just ensure that the users on the 1 dot network should be able to communicate with 192.168.2 dot network and should be able to communicate with 192.168.3 dot network now all the three LAN users should be able to ping with each other or the communication between them that is a basic prerequisite for this lab now let's take an example uh, my manager has defined the rules once I did some routing all the users in the LAN are able to communicate with each other that's working fine now I want to ensure that some of the traffic should get denied like like in my example I want to deny the 1.1 user should not communicate with 2. Dot network and the 1.2 user here should not communicate with this 2. Dot network and also the complete 3. Dot network I want to deny communicating with 2. Dot network and permit all the remaining traffic permit remaining means there is very less remaining you host here I can say this is this is permitted this 1.3 is permitted 1.4 is permitted now these two can communicate with this with this 2. network and also all this can communicate with 3. network right because the communication process is only denied between 1 and 2 not between 1 and 3 so this is permitted but this two is not permitted communication from here to here is not permitted again and the communication from here to here is not permitted now this is something what I want to implement as per the requirement so let me just write down the rules here so permit I want to deny the traffic from 192.168.1.1 going to uh, 2. Dot network and then the traffic coming from 1.2 going to 2. Dot network and the complete 3. Dot network that is 192.168 should not communicate with 2. Dot network and all are denies deny and then I want to permit all the remaining traffic now now we need to implement, we need to configure this by using standard ACLs because here uh, we are not using any any kind of services so probably I'll be using some standard ACLs. So I'll be using some standard ACL, let me write on here. Standard ACLs, okay. So uh, where to start? Now this, let's, let's assume that you are into this kind of scenario. Now you need to decide where to start, how to start and then what are the commands we need to configure now this is the syntax what we use for writing the ACL statement access list ACL number permitted in a source address source wildcard mask but before I actually get into the syntax I need to decide uh, where exactly I need to use this syntax or on which router we need to configure now whenever you decided to write any ACL statement there are three important things we need to understand and if you just understand these three things probably you can write the ACL rule for any anything given for you now that's really important that's really a basic thing you need to know like on which router to implement that's the first first thing you need to decide you need to ask yourself whether you need to implement on the router 1 whether on the router 2 and the router 3 and then you need to decide or you need to ask yourself who is the source who is destination and finally on which direction we need to implement so let's try to understand one by one so as per my topology my source and destinations now in this deciding the source on which router to implement uh, which router to implement that's the first thing we need to decide and the second thing we need to decide who is the source or who is the destination and then finally the direction we need to decide so we need to have very good understanding on these three things to write any ACL rules so let us start with the first one on which router to decide so remember one thing whenever you are deciding the appropriate router that router must be a transit router for your denied traffic like like if i say if i decide to go with the router one 
I want to implement ACL on the router one. Let's say just an example. In that case, uh, if I want to deny the traffic from 1.2 to 2. Dot network, it will deny because it goes through router one. And then 1.2 to 2. Dot network, it goes through router one. But the problem here is, if I want to deny 3. Dot network communicating with 2. Dot network, it will not go through router one, right? So the ACL is on the router 1 but it is not going through router 1. So remember uh, ACL will only filter the traffic which is moving through the router. So the traffic has to go via router then only the ACL is going to deny. So in my scenario probably the first two things if you see these first two things they go via router 1 that's, that's okay as well as router 2 and then the third one you can see this one this deny packet it's going via router 3 and router 2 now if you just take the common part here mostly if you see these two things now the common part is router 2 right so which means if i implement on the router 2 probably uh, from 1 to 2 it has to go via router 2 which means i have acl which will deny i'll stop here and even if 3 dot network is trying to communicate with 2 dot network i can write an acl here which will which will deny the traffic so deciding the common part or uh, the traffic should go via the router wherever we implement ACLs. Now either I can implement on router 1 and router 3 like these two rules on router 1, this rule on the router 3 that is one possible solution or I can just go with router 2 which is a common part because all the denied traffics are going via router 2. So that is one of the one of the option or one of the way to decide the which router. So deciding the right router is important and that router must be a transit router for all your denied traffic especially okay so decided so i decided that router 2 is the more appropriate router in my scenario so decided router 2 so that's the first step first step of writing the acls deciding the right router okay so then the next thing we'll try to understand once we decide the right router uh, we need to decide the source and destination so this is my uh, traffic here now we need to decide who is the source with the destination here now probably uh, we need to take any one as a source as a destination but what i suggest you is wherever you are implementing the acl the nearest to the particular implementation take that as a destination okay which means i'm going to take this two door network as my destination or and whatever the packets trying to come towards this destination are the source which means 1.1 and 1.2 as my source and then 3 dot network are also as a source where i am the destination the reason i am taking like this because if you remember in the previous video we have seen that standard acl uh, filters based on the source so the standard acl is going to filter based on the source address so it is going to check only the source address which means i want to check the packets which are trying to come into my network which means i cannot check my own own packets right so when that's the reason i'm going to take anyone coming into your network or the source and wherever i'm implementing or nearest to that particular router is my destination so in my scenario i'm going to take this as my destination and this is my source because we are going to filter the packet which are coming to my network and here I'm assuming my network is 2 dot network, which is my destination network. Now this is how we can decide the source. So just you need to say that think your router as a destination, whereas anything coming towards towards your router as a source. So that's something I suggest. Now this is something we are taking. So this is my destination, and then this is my source. Now right, selecting the right source and right destination is very important. Now the next thing is syntax now how to write the rules so we decided that the router 2 is the more appropriate router so i'm going on the router anyway uh, the prerequisite for this lab is routing let me do the routing first so the first step i'm going to configure the routing that's the first step any routing we can use so i'll be using some rip routing so i'll be explaining uh, more concepts here along with the lab here so let's go to router 1 and on the router 1 I'm going to configure my uh, RIP protocol 
RIP EHRP you can use. Let, let me use EHRP. So on the router one, if I, if I verify with show IP protocols, I don't have any routing, so I'm going to say router, I'll remove router RIP. I want to implement EHRP 100 and the network 192.168 one door network in the LAN and 10 door network in the WAN. And then moving on to router 2, on the router 2, I'm going to say router EHRP 100 network 192.168 2 door network in the LAN and 10 door network you can see the neighbor agency has been established and 11 door network now on the router 3 i'm getting into the command line and then i'm going to say router ehrp 100 network 1816 door network and 11 door network now hopefully i should see all the routes on the routing table let's check on the router 3 if i use show ip route ehrp I can see one door network and two door network and definitely I should be able to communicate from all the devices. Let's go to 1.1 PC, IP config, and I'll try to ping to 192.168.2.1. I should be able to ping from 1.1 to 2.1 PC, from 1.1 to 2.1. I can see the replies coming and also I should be able to ping to 3.1. From 1.1 I should be able to ping to 3.1 as well and from 3.1 i should be able to ping to 2.1 so i'm just trying to ping to the packets which i'm denying in the future that's what i'm denying in my acls but before implementing acls they should communicate with each other but after implementing the acls they should not communicate with each other that's that's our requirement that's that's something what we are going to test and verify here okay fine so the prerequisite for this lab is done now the next thing we'll do is we'll try to we'll get into the syntax okay so uh, as per our lab we decided that it has to be done on the router 2 right that's what we decided so implementing ACL on the router 2 that's something what we decided and the source and the destination is also decided so I need to get into the command line of the router 2 and syntax but this time I'm going to write a syntax now here I got four rules here you can see this is my first rule this is my second rule third rule and the fourth rule so I'll be discussing some of the basic uh, order how to write again more in detail but at this point of time I'm going with these four rules and I want to implement these four rules on the router too and whatever you see here this is my language I should write that in the CLI language or the router language which router understands so let's try it on. So in this scenario, I'm going to use standard ACL. So the command starts with access list and I can use question mark. If I'm writing a standard ACL, I should use a number called one to 99, any number. And if I'm using extended ACL, I should use any number in between 100 to 199. So in my scenario, I'm going to use access list 15, some number. And then we need to say whether you want to deny or permit, deny or permit. Now the first statement you can see it is denied so i'm going to say deny and then it is asking what is the source address now the source address can be any source or a specific host or uh, what is the source address here you can see the source address is 192.168.1.1 so i'm going to write 192.168.1.1 and then you can use question mark it's going to ask the wildcard bits so we need to write wildcard bits here wildcard bits uh, let's let's try to get into that wildcard page more in detail 